Tonight, pets disappearing in Citrus Heights, and police say coyotes are to blame. The animals on the prowl around busy neighborhoods. The attacks seem to be happening more often. So why are we seeing more coyotes, and how can people stop them? CBS 13's Laura Havely is live in Citrus Heights tonight, getting answers for us. Laura. Well, it's neighborhoods right next to parks like this one concerned about those coyote attacks after several reports flooded into the Citrus Heights Police Department about the gruesome killings. Removing the skins or the, the guts, it may look very gruesome. Pets under attack in Citrus Heights. My cats, like, they sleep outside. I feel like they're potentially, like, in danger. One look at social media and some posts suggest something suspicious, but the Department of Fish and Wildlife say the culprits are coyotes. My dog was bit by a coyote, and we actually didn't think she was going to survive. <coughs> Chloe has since recovered from the coyote encounter, but the scars are everlasting. She even has like a little bump on her side. Chloe's not the only pet in danger. Citrus Heights police say they've received reports of coyote attacks in recent days, one more gruesome than the next. In the natural world, the their prey looks at uh, uh, oftentimes uh, rodents and even, even birds. Um, and unfortunately, um, that also includes domestic pets. And when coyotes kill, they consume with vengeance. They'll be uh, attacking small pets to, to eat and um, you know, they're messy eaters. Wildlife in Citrus Heights isn't uncommon. Back in June, we covered a mountain lion roaming the streets. So why are wild animals so attracted to Citrus Heights? We're getting answers. Wildfires and droughts are pushing animals away from their environments in search of food and water, which Citrus Heights has plenty of. Bottom line, waterways like this one, green spaces, parks, don't just make people want to live in Citrus Heights. It makes animals want to live here, too. Living in, in, in that area, in those types of areas around uh, creeks and um, sources of, of water, residents want to be careful. The goal is, again, to uh, figure out ways for, for humans and wildlife to coexist. If you do spot an injured animal, you're asked to contact the Citrus Heights Police Department. Some tips that the department gave us is, of course, keep a close eye on your pets and don't leave trash out. Coyotes are really attracted to that.